Because it's fucking hot. Hello? [laughs] [laughs] Um, it Oh, it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. What? Um, and you're gonna move that one over there. Yeah, it's getting hot in here. So I'm just gonna leave this Yeah, we can leave it here for now. This clean, or not really? What's a what what's [inaudible 0:43:46.74] I I I don't think it's clean. What is it holding? Here, I'll wash it for you. Oh, yeah, I think I wash it from you [inaudible 0:43:49.91] Oh, shoot. Shh. [noise] Is this dish soap? Unless you wash that and I get this thing here going. Individuals around the world look to UBS to provide them with the advice, expertise and opportunities they need in order to grow their wealth. We do this through our global wealth management, asset management, investment bank, and personal and corporate banking business divisions. In group operations, we work as trusted partners with all four businesses to service our clients and their needs together. [noise] I think there are two factors that caused weak growth in the second and third quarter in Japan. The first one is weak overseas economic growth. Especially US and China economic growth was very weak in the second quarter, which affected Japan's export and related industries seriously. However, there are other there were other temporal factors that caused big negative growth, especially in the third quarter such as the energy savings in summer season and the Japan Japan China political tension which affected Japan export and related industries and the rebound of eco car subsidy which was expired in the third quarter. So these temporal factors could explain sharp decline in consumption capex and export in the third quarter. So I expect in the fourth quarter that there will be some rebound, positive rebound from these temporal factors. Thank you. Very good. Yeah, 